Back again in the gym. Someone parked fire. Climb number two for the shift. This time it goes out to Captain William O'Keefe out of Division 15. They're in Brooklyn. From everything I read on the research, our brother was 48 years old when he responded to the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil. So right now, this 110 floors is carrying our brother, Captain William O'Keefe, Division 15, all the way to the top. How's there in the Brownsville Express with engine 283. That was the uh, home for Division 15. So right now, I'm carrying them all the way to the top. This climb is dedicated to his wife, Jenny, and his daughters, Tara and Caitlin. I promise you, he will never be forgotten. So now, we have 110 before us to carry him all the way up. So I believe what I read is uh, April of 1979, he was appointed to the FDNY. He spent 15 years in Brooklyn on uh, engine 224 before transferring to uh, engine 154 in Travis. May, previous to 9-11, he was promoted to captain and went to Division 15, which is there housed with the Brownsville Express, Engine 283. So right now, we're going up to that 110. Our brother was a lifelong resident of Staten Island. It said he loved running on the Jersey Shore with his daughters, Tara and Caitlin, and he always liked to watch their track meets. It said he met his wife, Jenny, when they were actually at a uh, nightclub. It was the two of them and uh, William O'Keefe and another brother. And uh, basically he told his friend he was with that he wanted to switch partners. And that is how he met his wife Jenny, according to what the research showed. So right now, we're pushing it towards the second climb of the tour. For our brother, Captain William O'Keefe, Division 15, out of Brooklyn. This is the 343 commitment, that's still counting. 110 floor, Memorial Climb. So right now, with honor and respect for his family, for the FDNY, and for this country, our brother is going to the top. Pushing him up. Seven total verticals in these memorial climbs to which I will give their stories, their legacies. As I said before, our brother was in Brooklyn on engine 224 for 15 years after his appointment in 1979, I was only three years old when our brother was appointed to the FDNY. We will never forget the sacrifices made on 
And after 9-11, for the Anso County, those who work the pile, for days, weeks, and months, to bring fruition, and close out the work at Ground Zero. For the families, for the FDNY, we will always remember the sacrifices. And right now, it's another moment. Another brother will reach the top. We're only a few climbs away from the next major milestone in this commitment. So I've carried the 250th brother is just a little ways away. Right now, we're going vertical in his honor in memory and respect for his wife Jenny and daughters Terry and Caitlin. Your husband and father will never be forgotten. For the FDNY, they're at engine 283, 224, and 154, where our brother served his time as a firefighter on the FDNY prior to getting promoted to captain and going to Division 15. Right now, this is his. Pushing up the legs to finish his footsteps. We're going up with honor and respect. Our brother right here. This is who we're climbing for. Another brother to reach the top. This is why we climb, to tell their stories and take them all the way up. For our brother who loved running on the beach with his daughters, a great father and a great husband, played golf, and it also said that he was a handyman around the house. Right now, this is his going all the way to the very top. This is the 343 Commitment in Still Counting. Live in Southern Park, New Mexico. In the gym. Their stories, one by one, are told. Second brother of this tour, Probably the second climb and only second climb for this one. But we're gonna take them all the way. Pushing them up with honor and respect. For his response to the worst terrorist attack on US soil. The greatest rescue effort took place in United States history more of it to 25,000 were saved because of the bravery and heroism that was displayed. Right now, this is his run up the tower. 
carrying our brother all the way to the 110th floor. For his wife, Jenny, daughters, Kara and Caitlin, the FDMI outfit on the line, and for our country. We're going vertical. His story will live on. Pushing him up. All the way to the top. Going there now. Getting towards the halfway point. Two more floors. And we're getting there. It's actually a little bit warm outside today. So the gym is warm too. That's the reason it's already fogging up on the mask. I'll push it all the way to the top. For our brother, Captain William O'Keefe, Division 15 out of Brooklyn, housed there at the Brownsville Express with engine 283. Going up as we speak. Other units he was with after 1975 when he was appointed. It's a 224 for 15 years. And uh, engine 154 and Tyler is what it said for seven. So our brother had over 20 years, over 20 years on the job with the FDNY. Mostly in Brooklyn, where our brother was assigned Division 15. Right now, we're going to the top. With each and every step, we're getting closer to the next floor. For his wife, Jenny, daughters, Tara and Caitlin, your husband and father, his legacy will live on. This is the 343 commitment. It's still counting. 110 floors for Captain William O'Keefe. Our a husband, a son, a father, our brother. Taking them all the way up. It said he loved running with his daughters on the Jersey Shore. Loved watching Tara and Caitlin run at the school meets. Pushing them up. My brother was 48 years old when he made the ultimate sacrifice so that others could live. Pushing him. A 
little bit by little bit. We're carrying Captain William O'Keefe to the very top. A lifelong resident of Staten Island. He actually met his wife, Jenny, on a double date in a nightclub. He traded partners to be able to get to her and meet her. Right now, this is his 110 floors. Upon completion, 96 left to carry. And with the honor and respect given, we're going vertical. Over the halfway point already, and uh, three more verticals are left. And this climb for Captain William O'Keefe. Our brother played golf, was a family man, he was a hard worker, and it said he was also a handyman. Loved running, loved running long distance. Competed in fire sports games with running and ran several competitions that were long distance from what it said. So right now, we're going vertical. So we reach the 110th floor to reach symbolically the top of the tower for Division 15. How's there with the Brownsville Express? We're going vertical. Going there now. This is the 343 commitment and still counting. 100, 10 floors of remembrance for Captain William O'Keefe in honor of his family, his wife, Jenny, daughters Tara and Caitlin for the FDNY off and on the line for our country to know that we will never forget. This is his memorial climb. And those will follow. And once we're done with the original 343 commitment, the ants still counting. Those who work the pile will make their climb each individually to the top. Ah. This 110 is to honor and remember Captain William O'Keefe, 48 years old, on the FDNY with over 20 years of experience. Appointed on into 224 back in 1979. There was there 15 years before going to engine 154 and Travis. And then Promotion to Captain, Division 15, with the Brownsville Express, into 283 out of Brooklyn. And now, 
second to last vertical on this 110. Bear with me. The first 110 is saying hello again. I will not stop until we reach the top. Or like what happened yesterday, until we get a call, and then I come back and finish the 110. This is his legacy, his wife, his daughters. The fact that he gave over 20 years of service to the citizens of New York, responded to the worst terrorist attack on US soil so that upwards of 25,000 would live. Ah. Pushing them all the way. Gonna reach that top. Gonna get there now. With honor and respect given. Not until we get there. Outside of the other stuff I just said. Will I stop? Pushing them up. Forty-eight years old. Loving father and husband. Going all the way to the very top. This is why we climb. To carry their footsteps along with our own. This is the 343 commitment. And it's still counting. Ah. Almost there. Ah. Last little rest before the last and final vertical of this climb. Catch up on my brother right here. This is his climb. To finish his footsteps is the ultimate goal of why we climb 110 floors. For his wife, Jenny, his daughters, Tara and Caitlin, for the FDNY, off and on the line, Division 15, Engine 224, Engine 154, the Brownsville Express, Engine 283. In our country, we will never forget those sacrifices that were made so that others could live. Those that came on and after in the Anso County. Uh, all right, we're just about to uh, kick that last insane vertical all the way to the top. This will put me at the 100, 110th floor. For our brother, Captain William O'Keefe. Pushing them up as we speak. With honor and respect. Going 
going to the top. Ah. Over 20 years given to the FDNY, to the citizens of New York. Uh, almost there. Last little bit of the vertical. Uh, uh here we go. So now, the last vertical is complete. Uh, nine more floors to finish this hundred and ten floors. Uh, our brother appointed, I believe it was April 1979, to the FDNY, pushing him to the very top. Went to 224 Brooklyn, 15 years. Went to the 154. I believe it's a Travis. I could be wrong. Captain, promotion, Division 15, Brooklyn, with the Brownsville Express, into 283. That was in May. Responded 9 11, 2001. To the worst terrorist attack on U.S. oil in U.S. history. It was part of the greatest rescue effort in United States history. Pushing him until we reach the top of the tower to the 110th we are going, and we're almost there. Pushing those steps as we speak. Almost there, like three floors left. Go in there as we speak. For our brother, his wife, Jenny, daughter, Sarah, and Caitlin, your husband, my father will never be forgotten. Pushing him up. Almost there. Pushing him. Last floor. 109 to coming up to the 110. And that is 110 floors. Captain William O'Keefe, rest easy, my brother. We have it from here.
Oh.